Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation No Time to Die, turn 3.4, the Commonwealth. It is July 1937. There was an interesting question brought up by Knights Templar regarding the placement of the militia he recruited on turn 3.2. On page 48, 11.5, Recruitment Die Rule for Controlled Minor Powers, it states, you get either one infantry or two militia to place in a land zone of that controlled nation. Uh, that would suggest that Knight, Knights Templar could place the militia in the newly captured territory of Singhai. However, on the national reference sheet for CCP, under recruitment, it says that CCP recruited units are handled slightly differently, quote, according to the rules for decentralized military. And the decentralized military rules require placement of the units, quote, in any Chinese home country land zone if they have possessed the land zone since the start of the term. So for CCP recruitment, it's slightly more constricted and you have to place the units in a territory that you have possessed, a home country territory that you have possessed since the start of the turn. So those two militia do need to be placed in Shen Si. So let me start with my turn. I've got two tech roles for Great Britain, uh, advanced anti-sub warfare is the first one and the second one is wartime economy. We will submit and see what we get here. Okay, so I got the advanced anti-submarine warfare. I rolled an eight, so I did succeed with that one. On the wartime economy, I failed. I rolled a four. So I'm at stage one for anti-submarine warfare and stage one for wartime economy with the British. Um, let's see. Next is purchases. The uh, Great Britain purchases one uh, militia upgrade, three militia for six, two infantry for six, and then I'm going to lend lease one, uh, the supply sufficient for one militia to upgrade to an infantry in As Asturia, Navarre um, for two. So six and six plus another four, is 16. That's how much I had. I don't save any. The FEC is going to purchase one militia upgrade for two and purchase two militia for four. That's a total of six. I had seven, so I save one IPP. ANZAC is just going to purchase one infantry for three. I had five, so I save two. Combat movement, none for the Commonwealth. Uh, okay, now non-combat movement. Let's make a move here. Zoom out a bit. I think we'll go over here to Australia. Um, one transport is going to start off here in C Zone 45 with a major port. One, two, pick up this infantry and back to Sydney, drop them off in Sydney. One naval transport will move from C Zone 88 go one, two, pick up this infantry off Ceylon and move over to back to C-Zone 122, dropping him off in British Malaya. I can do that because Hong Kong has a major port. Um, one coastal submarine will move from C-Zone 86 to C-Zone 122. One light cruiser and one destroyer will move from C-Zone 85 to C-Zone 83 and join the pack. It's kind of a neat grouping of submarines here. I got a German sub, a British sub, four French subs, and an Italian sub. It's, it's kind of a neat kaleidoscope of uh, submarines. For some reason, all the submarines are, are in C-Zone 83, just a submarine party. Okay. Let's rotate the camera around a little bit over here. And now we'll have this transport pick up this infantry from Malta and move one, two, three down to sea zone 83. And it'll drop off that infantry in British Somaliland. One coastal defense ship and one torpedo boat destroyer from sea zone 80 will go one, two, three to C-Zone 83. 
one light cruiser and one submarine that are in Sea Zone 79 can move four. They'll go one, two, three, four, four into Sea Zone 83. Um, I'm just going to take, I, I've got one destroyer and one naval transport uh, up in Sea Zone. We'll move from um, Sea Zone 79 up to Sea Zone 24. So I'd just like to take a moment and review what all is in C-Zone 83, just so that we're on the same page, uh, my opponents and I. Okay, we've got one German sub, we've got two British subs, we've got four French subs, we have one Italian sub, we have one British transport, we have one Anzac light cruiser, one Anzac destroyer, one British torpedo boat destroyer. Um, we have two carriers, one of them, two light carriers that is. One of them has a tactical bomber and one of them has a fighter. We have two British battleships. We have three British heavy crew, nope, yeah, three British heavy cruisers. One British coastal defense ship. Um, two uh, British light cruisers. And five British destroyers. Please let me know if I've got that wrong to my opponents. I know that's a lot of, a lot of ships to keep track of. Okay, strategic rail movement, none. Strategic naval movement, uh, let's rotate around over here so we can see what's going on up here. This transport picks up this infantry from British Midlands and this infantry from Northern Ireland, Ireland leaving Sea Zone 10 and goes one, two, three, four down here to drop them both off in Gibraltar. So Gibraltar has two infantry and two uh, militia. I also wanted to move two infantry, I guess I forgot to write that down, two infantry move from London over to British Midlands. Okay. Placement of British units. One militia in British Somaliland. Uh, let's see if we can get that in camera here. I think I've got that. This guy, uh, this militia gets turned into an infantry, so now there are two infantry in British Somaliland. Two infantry get built in London, and then I will put one militia in London as well. So I still have two militia to place. So in London, I have, whoops, in London, I have three militia and two infantry. In British Midlands, I also have the strategic bomber in London. In British Midlands, I have two infantry. Okay, and then I'll put one more militia in Gibraltar and one militia in Eastern Egypt. Those would be my two militia placements. There's the one for Eastern Egypt. And here's another one. So I have three militia, two infantry, and a medium bomber, a coastal gun, and a fortification in Gibraltar. So that's what I placed with... Oh, and then I do the Lend-Lease Supplies. They'll leave uh, London and uh, go to Asturia, Navarre. Uh, I'm... I think you need three, now that I, now I wonder about inter, interdict, interdicting my London uh, supplies. Um, I, I'm sending them from London to Astar, Astaria Navarre, and there's only a fleet of at least three surface warships. So that one heavy cruiser does not interdict the British uh, supplies to increase this militia. 
into an infantry. So now there are two infantry in Asturia, Navarre. There is no militia. All right. Then FEC places one there are one militia in Har Haruna gets converted into an infantry. And then um, one militia gets placed in Hong Kong and another militia gets placed in British Malaya. So there's now uh, two infantry in British Malaya and two militia. Two infantry, two militia in British Malaya. And there are the same, it's the same situation in Hong Kong, two and two. Okay, and then we've got the Anzac infantry. I place one infantry in Sydney. So there are two infantry and four militia with an artillery in Sydney. Brit Great Britain collects 16 IPP. They didn't have any saves, so they have 16 in the bank. FEC collects seven, but they did have one save, so they have eight in the bank. ANZAC collects five, but they saved two, so they have seven in the bank. And that concludes the Commonwealth turn. Now we'll start 3.5, France's turn. They get one tech roll. Oh, I'm going to do that at the end when I do my Abyssinia recruitment, but I am going to roll for advanced mechanized. That's what France will be doing. Uh, the French are going to lend lease this fighter here to Abyssinia for 10 IPP, so they will save uh, none. Combat movement, none. Non-combat movement. Let's rotate this around over here. So I am going to have one uh, naval transport pick up this infantry in Syria and move one, two, and drop it off in southern France. Um, I will have this infantry in southern France move up to Paris, and this French legionnaire move down to southern France. So in Paris we have three infantry, a militia, an artillery, a motorized infantry, and a medium bomber. In Alsace-Lorraine, we have six infantry. In southern France, we have one infantry and one French Foreign Legion. Um, I will move one heavy cruiser, one destroyer, and one torpedo boat destroyer from Sea Zone 80 into Sea Zone 83. So all this stuff is in 83. Uh, strategic rail movement, none. Strategic na naval movement, none. Now I have a recruitment rule for Abyssinia. So I'm going to generate the random numbers for my advanced mechanized infantry and the role for recruitment for Abyssinia. I need to get a one on that one. It's thinking. The tension's mounting. Okay, so for my tech roll, I failed. I rolled a six and for my recruitment roll, I failed, I rolled a seven. Uh, the lend -Lease fighter leaves southern France. It goes down to uh, French Somaliland, the major port there, and then travels by rail to Abyssinia. Uh, so Abyssinia has two militia, four infantry, a cavalry, and a fighter. France collects 10 IPP. Uh, this is Global War 36 Enthusiasts, now turning this over to Panzer J and 3.6 Italy.